You almost had him, right? I'm just, I'm at an actual loss for words right now. There's no way they expect you to range damage this fucker while somehow dodging, like, non-dodgeable shit. Shield can actually sort of, like, mitigate the the damage a little? Maybe? It doesn't appear that I can break the crystal by attacking it with my sword. Again, none of these are, are full assumptions. These are just like, I've lasted a total of 40 seconds in this boss fight. This is what I, the very limited info that I have right now. I'm happy to test all hypotheses. I hope it's not something completely obvious that I'm missing. I think there's a chance that there's that. I thought the protection area off to the left made some sense. I don't know that it does. Uh... Hmm. I'm fucking lost. I love those guys. I love those guys and the noises they make. This is the wrong way. I need to go down a level. I need to go around the stair guy. Hi, stair guy. This is like Mark's commute to work every day. Mark just commutes to work seeing the same individuals every day, and I didn't hit the thing this time. Shit. down yet? It's not down yet. There it is. There it is. Give me on here. Give me on here. Give me on here. No, don't ride the elevator with me. This is my cab. I paid for this Uber. Get out of here. You shit. Okay. I'll try one more time. And otherwise, uh, I'm probably going to go to the Crystal Cave because I don't know what I'm doing. What if it's public transportation? Nah, nah, nah. Mark's, Mark's got money. Mark's got it. Mark's got money on it. What do we have? Anything? The item we got at the very bottom of this dun uh, the of Horny Jail was just a Firekeeper Soul. So it's not like there's that to try and. It's not like that gave me an item that just solves this. have throwing knives. Maybe I should learn to parry. Hmm. I can give him my rubbish. Hey, uh, Seath? Seath is a dragon. Seath has crystals. Oh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. I have no idea. All right, well. Have you tried talking to him? Maybe I should try that. Mr. Scaleless, we need to cook. Oh. 
Okay, that's the one that is little areas. Sure. Ow, fuck. Okay, I took some damage. Okay. Is there like, do I attack stuff around the room? Does attacking something around the room cause you damage? Okay, that hurts. I'm gonna get my stamina back up. Okay, we can heal here. Dang it, I did not increase my stamina there. Okay, if we stay on our feet, we're actually chilling here. Maybe this is just a time thing where it takes long enough. Are you gonna run out of steam soon? I would love it if you ran out of steam anytime soon. Can you just do this all day? Oh, that's not good. You like run out of ammo soon, right? He doesn't run out of ammo. You can't attack the crystal, because that's how it fucks you up. There's no safe spot. What the fuck do I do here? I can't even get out. There's not enough time. I'm getting my ass kicked! So who's having fun? My hand stays down. Honestly? Just eat me into the void. Just eat me into the void. This is doing nothing. All right. Um, mods, don't run another prediction. Uh, please. Whale shit. I think we go to the crystal caves. I think it's the only thing I can we can possibly do. I unless there's something really obvious that I'm missing there. There's nothing for me in that room right now. It's possible my only thought is it's possible the crystal caves gives us like a something that allows us to damage Seath or remained undamaged by crystals. And that's the only thing I can think of that would matter that would make sense here. I'm gonna try and kill one of these guys for just a little bit. Never mind, I'm gonna die to these fuckers. I'm gonna try and kill one of these guys for just a couple souls so I can repair my Gucci Katana. If I can damage any of them. I killed one? Great news. Maybe Seath is just the hardest boss in the game and you have to hack the game in order to beat it. Maybe that's what you gotta do. Maybe Seath is just that good. Maybe I need to get good. <laughs> All right. <coughs> the way out of here to that bonfire is relatively easy. Woof. There's just, like, I we have to have something, like, we have to do something different. My sort of, like, last hope there was, like, well, maybe if Seath can only do, like, four or five attacks like that, then you can just kind of, like, do the... You can just sort of, like, withstand them, and then you'll have an opportunity to attack later. That was not the case. That was not the case. I did not have an opportunity.
All right, we'll get on the other bonfire, and then we'll go explore the crystal cave area. Uh, Mods, if you want to do pre uh, survival predictions, you can. Uh, feel free. All right. Uh, get creative with it, Evo. Do whatever you want. General survival or gravity versus enemy death. Yeah, whatever you want. Whatever you whatever you feel. Okay. The two unbeatable bosses of Dark Souls. Seath. And the invisible floor in the crystal cave. Fuck, we maybe should just go to like tomb of giants at this point this i mean we're striking out over here jesus striking out and the worst part isn't that you strike out the worst part is not having any hope and with seeth i see zero places to hope so i have to just assume that i can get some hope in some other area i see why this playthrough is taking so much time it's possible that i'm in a vulnerable place but uh i would love it <laughs> uh if we just uh you know we're uh a little bit kinder about uh <laughs> it's possible i'm in a vulnerable place that's we'll just leave it there i'm doing my best All right, let's see here. From here, we think that one with the gold guy didn't actually go anywhere. Just led to loot. Up here, we don't want to touch the butterfly. We can walk out on this big drop, which can bring us back here, which is where we can walk. I need to remember what exactly I'm aiming for. Um, you guys are sweet. Thanks, chat. Um, I think we just go like, I don't know that, th first off, I don't know that this walkway is straight. So we should probably go slower rather than more aggressively. We don't know that this walkway is straight at all. We found some items down here, so I also don't know if this is like, if this is technically already a dead end. At least a little off to the right here. And some of those are not hitting stuff. And I didn't, yep, that's the end. <laughs> This area is redacted vibes from Outer Wilds. I love that, Joyce. I love that idea. I gotta check my check my text messages. Make sure we aren't in labor. Um. All right. Can you just jump off this? That'd be fun. Chat, what's your favorite song of all time? And why? I feel like the why is more interesting than the what the actual song is. Although I may know some of the songs. Big question? I know, but you got to pick one. And why? Here's why mine is All My Friends by LCD Sound System. I just love it. I have, like, some very positive, like actual like you know rather than like logically it's the song i've played the most or it's the song i've loved the longest all my friends uh by lcd sound system is a song that has like a lot of great positive associations with good memories uh for me um i also like it's also my favorite lcd sound system song but it just has a lot of and the older i get the more i'm like oh my god this song is fantastic 
It'd be hard to pick top five, let alone one. I don't think I could pick just one. Here's the deal. You don't actually have to pick your favorite. Just pick one that you really like and you have a good reason why. Oh, I just jumped over your head. That was dope. How do I even begin to narrow this down? You don't have to if you don't want to also. I'll be honest with you. I'm just attempting to get a little insight into why you might find a song good more than why more than you picking the correct song. It's the reasoning that's important. I can't pick a favorite. That's just rude to all the other songs, but I love Bohemian Rhapsody. What do you love about it? It's a great song, but what do you love about it? I think we might be onto something with that place. Let's try that again. Pretender by Foo Fighters? Great choice. I don't know why I just love it. It's a song I go to when trying when trying out the audio of anything. You mean like new headphones you put on Pretenders? Mama Mia by ABBA? Mama Mia. Great song. Okay, when I'm aiming here, I think I'm aiming for... seeking guidance here? I don't know if I've tried seeking guidance here. Maybe I'll do that. I thought I'm supposed to be able to walk on the abyss, motherfucker! <gasps> I don't have the ring on. Wait, hold up. We'll try out two things. The two things... I'm, I'm probably obsessing over these two things that have absolutely nothing to do with the crystal cave, but I'm gonna try both of them. feel like you got a little further that time here's the problem joyce i've actually been further than that i've actually made it past that part before i did make it a little further that time. don't stop me now by queen loudly singing in the carpool van with the dnd group on the way to game night in high school i love that vikuyo are we typing our favorite song and why and if i didn't get a chance to read yours the first time feel free to say it a second a second My life by Bon Jovi. It's my life now or never. Sir Deku says Scars by Josh A. Uh, who said Mountain Goats? Up the Wolves? Let's go, Joyce. It's emotional. The bridge has the most beautiful singing voice. Maybe Up the Wolves by the Mountain Goats. Uh, singing along in the car with my siblings. Triumphant ending. I love it. Yeah. I have a friend who... Uh, yeah, yeah. That's a really good one. Fuck. I love that, Sven. Heaven by Brian Adams played at our wedding. Ooh. See, that's almost a different but related thing. Like, of course, one of my favorite songs forever will now always be... Oh, my God. That almost went really badly. Will now always be uh, Nothing Matters When We're Dancing by the Magnetic Fields because that's the song that Megan and I danced to uh, at our wedding. Our first dance, I should say. Just be patient here. We'll just be patient. I love that siege. What song by the magnetic fields? Uh, is that what it's called? Nothing matters when we're dancing or when we're dancing. One of the two. It's from uh, 69 love songs. 
Fuck. Happiness is a warm gun, hits just right. Who's that by? I'm working on getting through more of 69 Love Songs, so I gotta look that one up. Honestly, you do hot take on 69 Love Songs. Fantastic fucking album. Don't listen to it as an album, ever. Or don't even really, like, it shouldn't be an album. <laughs> no way. No way. Like, 69 Love Songs is not an album. Hot Take It isn't an album. It's it's a collection of 69 fucking songs. If you like that one, then I'll seek it out. Here, I could just play it. Uh, this won't show up on the uh, YouTube recording, so RIP to our... Ah, yeah! Ah, yeah! Uh, RIP to our YouTube friends who won't get to hear it, but... um. This is the song Megan and I danced to at our wedding. It's super short. RIP YouTube and VOD. Yeah, YouTube and VOD uh, won't be able to hear it. And I won't sing it for that reason. Because <laughs> you would hear me singing. Wait, can you guys hear it? I know so little of this album. This is beautiful, Ryan. I know. That's why we chose to dance to it. I love this song. I've loved it for a long time. It was my suggestion. Shout out to Meg for uh, saying yes to it. And saying yes to marrying me, but... H's for sure. All right, I'm going to stop there. Um Okay, so uh I'm going to ask a front seat question. Chat, is there something else for me to find this direction that I am facing? Yes or no front seat question. No? Thank God. Dope. I'm probably going to do that a lot this area cuz I'm the brain I woke up with today is not having it. Okay. This should drop us down to the thing. <gasps> it says imminent fall, but there's also stuff over there. <gasps> I don't want to fall here. Imminent fall. I think I maybe jumped over it. I can't tell. They're in my head, dude. FromSoft is in my fucking head. They're in here. They, they live up here for free. Rent free. They're in my head. They got me all sorts of fucked up right now. I'm picturing imaginary invisible platforms. I'm so scared. I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. I'm probably not, but it's fine. Vaguely down is the direction I would like to go here. If I fall here, I'm going to be so angry. It'll be fine. I can just redo it. Just run. It's fine. Okay. Is this a new area? Please let it be a new area. Oh. There was also something to the left there, but let's go here first. 
Dope. That's progress. Thank God. <laughs> ah, what are you? Whoa! Oh, you do a little prancy prancy. Ah! You do a little prancy prancy. You do a little pokey pokey. And you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! Ah! No! Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Can you come through here? You can. Fuck. Okay, fuck it. I guess we're going this way. Can't come down here. Soul of a hero. Dope. Love it. Quick slash. Get out. Are those skulls in there instead of pearls? Kind of cool, honestly. We're getting there. Ah, he do a pokey. These guys are called hokey pokies in my head now. Is this going to be like a 50 times payout for pinkies? Is pinky enemy and blue is uh, gravity? Dope. Okay. All we got to do is kill 15 more of those guys. You are a nightmare, my friend. Oh, but you are very pretty. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So there were two to the left here. Fresh concrete. Four that direction. Was it two to the left? Fresh concrete? I really like the look of that enemy a lot. I really also like their animations! Oh shit, should I get behind you? What's the deal here? Okay. You can shield for sure. Okay. Oh, I'll get behind you. Okay, so the play with you is get behind you. No bleed. Dope. Okay. Fresh crystal. Fresh, fresh crystal. Fresh crystal. Fresh, fresh crystal. I'm trying to think of other songs that would be my favorite. All My Friends by LCD Sound System. For a long time, um, I Will Possess Your Heart by Death Cab for Cutie. Uh, less so the older I get, but I love that for a long time. Um, ah, ah. Oh. See an exclamation away in the chat. Just going to kill this guy real quick. Was anyone else's favorite song when they were young, like, did it change based on who you were romantically interested in? Because <laughs> mine definitely changed based on whoever I was, like, either dating or hoping to date. <laughs> you know? Okay, this is too many. Three is too many. I set the limit at two at a time. I just love their little prancy, 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 prancy. Nacho Mark says no. Oh, so weird flex, but you had an actual sense of who you were as a person and you weren't just changing 
who you were attempting to be uh, based on the person you were interested in the moment. Wow. Strange. Can't imagine. Couldn't have been me. Me personally. <laughs> I had a flimsy image of myself and uh, was super ha and uh, was super happy to change that based on whatever person I thought was going to solve all my problems by dating me. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <gasps> Not off the edge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is cheese, but we don't care. Here definitely is the reason I love heavy metal and the police. Pierre loves the police. Good band. Are you stuck, my friend? Can you imagine if I would have died to gravity there? Ah! Now you come through! Chill out. Chill out. Okay, we have plenty of heals. My music taste mostly varied depending on the intensity of my current crush. The intensity, not on who it was. Ooh, interesting. That it belies something slightly different. His first uh, fresh concrete was the fireplace in in Orlando. It was the well in a uh, painted uh, world of Ariamis. The one after that was uh, the, con the the thing. But absolutely. Gecko, we're running into a problem with your with your command. Which is that now when I see it in chat, I'm unhappy. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean I'm blind? Ah! One more, one more. There you go. The music taste definitely evolved when I started dating someone in a band. So y'all weren't the type of person to, uh, fresh concrete in this room, by the way. Yes or no? Front seat. Fresh crystal. No. You weren't the type of person to, uh, put a, uh, put the lyrics to a country song on your, on your Instagram caption, uh, because the person you were, um, interested in was a huge fan of country music just as a way to you know potentially no just me okay mm, cutscene you ugly turd <laughs> mark <laughs> this is this a boss please don't let it be another boss that i'm getting my ass kicked by never mind make it a boss see The thermostat. Touched, by the way. The fuck? Okay. Oh, you got too many tentacles, my boy. You got too many tentacles, my boy. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, get up, get up. I've done seven damage. I have six heals. I'm safe. Oh, he's throwing a tantrum. Ah! That hits so hard. I feel like you're gonna grab me with your hands. Okay. All right, the real seat to scale this fight. This is so dope that there's actually a second fight. I'm also happy that I figured out there's nothing to do in that other fight. The answer must be in the crystals down below. And by figured out, I mean guess. 
and hoped and prayed that that was the case. We gotta figure out a way to damage you without getting hit by the... I'm out of stamina? Get up, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Heal, that's gonna kill me. Cursed. What the fuck? What the fuck? While cursed, your HP is halved. Lifting the curse requires a purging stone or the aid of the healer in New Londo. Yo, Archaic Duck, I read your message earlier. I just can't respond to everything out loud. There's, I can't, I can't like, I read it. I read it the second time you posted it, I think. I just can't respond to everything out loud. There's too many people chatting. Um, I love that though. Lifting the curse requires a purging stone or the aid of the healer in New Londo. Or don't I have a, the purging stone, the item that I have? Your HP is halved. But it's not actually halved because it looks like my ring of favor and protection. It looks like it would be halved, but my ring of favor and protection is also bumping me up a little bit from there. Burging stone? Don't I have undo irregularities? See, I wonder if this works. Curse. So I could be cursed by those fucking s crystals? Holy cow. New Londo Healer. I don't know that I know for sure if that means Ingvard or if that means something else. The Healer of New Londo? Interesting. Okay. Hmm. 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 Bye, Zach. Have fun at work. So here's what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Uh oh. My controller disconnect? Headphones? Ah! My bad, that's my USB noises. I couldn't remember I couldn't tell if you guys heard them. My computer is also cursed. Dark Souls 1 put a virus in my PC. I think I may have a ring that prevents cursing, which would be super handy, but divine, we could try Divine Blessing or whatever it's called. See if that uh, undoes my curse. We'll see. All right, there's my controller back. Uh... Boost curse resistance. Help prevent curses. Okay, so I had that correct. Um, additional attunement slots. Interesting. They really just want to make C fucking unbeatable, huh? Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let me think here. I can't remember if I had one other item or if that's everything. I think I did not buy the thing. I think if my memory is correct, Ingvard sold a purging stone or something. 
or maybe so it sold the ability to heal me from a curse. And I was like, what does that mean? I everything says curse, but I've never been I've never been cursed, so I don't know what that means. Let's test divine blessing. <laughs> Rip, rip in pieces. Oh, can I get an 07s in the chat, please, for my uh, for my divine blessing, which is gone and is never coming back. I thought for sure that would uh, do the curse. It's a, called a divine blessing. It's literally the opposite of a curse. You can't come up with two words that are the opposite of that more than those two. Fuck, shit, fuck. Can I get my flasks up to 15 at least? I can't even get my flasks up to 15? Oh wait, no, this one is not, uh, no, this one is, okay. Well, first time I got cursed, I did the same thing. I'm happy someone else was thinking along the same lines. Well, let's go to fucking Ingvard then, I guess. Oh my God, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass. To get to Ingvard, I go, uh, undead parish to Firelink to down the thing. I think that works. I think we'll probably uh, call it a stream once I figure out uh, how to get uncursed. I'm going to try running to Ingvard and then we'll probably call it a stream. This one's only up to 10. So technically I should warp here first, then come back. Ryan, you're a gamer. You can beat the rest of the game on half health. Yeah, okay. Add one to the death counter. Thank you, Deku. Add one to the death counter, you handsome bald guy. Thank you, Deku. I'm not bald, but I do appreciate the handsomeness. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, we go Undead Parish. Exclamation trench. I'm not bald, but I do have a Vegeta hairline. Uh, okay. Dope. This was the wrong one. This was the wrong one. Chat, what else you guys got going on today? Anything exciting? Thought I was going to Sin's Fortress. My health bar looks so weird. I love this skull icon. Man, that seat fight is going to be impossible. Holy shit. EG3, since I don't have much else to do. Evo, did I see correctly that it is dead week right now at a uh, at university? I have to start studying for my graduate program. Comprehensive exam. Yes, sad face. No, it's dead week. Everybody knows in dead week, people give you no homework, you have nothing to do, and you uh, you just hang out and do nothing, right? Oh, wait. I'm working on my graduation project. It's going to be the end of me. What's your graduation project, uh, Heya? I have a date with a massive bowl of potato salad. Plastic Satan, I support you no matter what you do. That might be the weirdest bowl. That might. When you say I have a date with a massive bowl of, I think there's a lot of things you could type there that would be acceptable, fine, uh, uh, expected. Potato salad is not the thing I was thinking. Am I? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here. Down. I just mm, got my glasses so dark. Shit. <clears throat> Potato salad makes my knees weak. Damn. All right. I support you, Satan. <laughs> Ooh. 
I think I need to do the transient curse thing too. We gotta try and get to uh, Ingvard. We have a shortcut, but I think we'll help. But we don't have a lot of help. And I feel like if these guys get me, then I'm dead. You know? Like dead, dead. Shortcut, I believe, is just up here, then to the right. Is this Dark Souls 1? No, it's Dark Souls Remastered. It's kind of Dark Souls 1. It's Dark Souls Remastered, which is a remaster of 1. Ryan, you're doing great. Thanks, Garden Trilogy. We're getting there. We're learning things. There's Ingvard, my boy Ingvard. Enemies. Okay. Okay. Enemies, enemies, enemies. I got a enemies. I got a lot of enemies. From here, what is the quickest way to get up? I'm going to get to that far wall. I think if I run all the way through, you guys come from the left, jump, go over here. Isn't there a step up right here? Oh my god, my memory. My memory is so good. When it's good. It's so bad when it's bad. But it's so good when it's good. This is not it, right? Shit. Fuck, this is not it. Oh, no. Now I'm on a... Oh, no. Hey, my health! I have to get up from inside, I think. Please don't kill me. To fall damage. Okay. There should be some enemies in here and then a ladder, yeah? That's too many enemies. They're in the walls. We're so dead. We're so dead. Oh, Christ. Hi, friend. We're just going to take this a step at a time. Okay. A lot of enemies there. It's fine. Heal real quick. Hopefully we don't get hit. Woo! I got memories. I got a lot of memories. Sorry, and I missed your comment. You've been reading a lot of the uh, the book you read a couple years ago. Uh, I'll be doing that after stream. Been developing an annoyance for some of my own writing quirks. <laughs> Name a more writerly experience than getting annoyed at your own, at the specific little things that you do a lot. Okay, there are three from the left there. And here, let's get the ones before, ah, before we go into the room first. Okay, that's too many. Two dead, okay, two dead, perfect. But they're, they're behind me as well? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Ah! I'm panicking! No stamina. Okay, this is a circle. So technically, we can kill here. I'm caught on something! And then go around the circle. Yeah, yeah. No! Okay, I got out of it. Woo, buddy! not a circle. I thought it was a circle. Is this going to work? Ah! It did not work. Oh, it did not work. Fucking cursed, huh? Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. Go ahead. Even if. I was wondering if there was new dialogue for being cursed. All right, gamers. I'm going to uh, call it right there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Dark Souls today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for... Uh, thanks for... Yeah, thanks for hanging out. See ya.